Hello, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another class here with Michael Storrs. And of course, on behalf of Faber Castell USA, my name is Leigh Ralston. Happy Wednesday. Hello, creative friends. How's everyone doing today? I'm looking at all the chat. It is rainy where I'm at from. Hello, Tina. I'm here in North Texas. So hello, Mary. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I was having some some issues. I don't know what's in the air today, but I was having some crazy issues today. First of all, my box didn't come in. So my order, um, it's okay. We're had, having some delays, but this was a box that I created for this project. Since I do not have a box, um, I did pull out some of my black um, paper card. I think this is just a sketch paper. And then I also pulled out some purple. So I'm going to be using white, a lot of white and also metallic markers today. So we'll be using some Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And then I did pull out some of the other white pens that um, we have just so we can have a comparison. And, you know, we'll make this a very relaxing class today. I figured we'll doing some doodles and whatever it is that come up today. Um, so if you have your supplies ready, we'll talk about... Um, some of my favorite ones that I like using because I did, this are the sets. I wanted to show you first that. So the big, this is the big pen, big pit artist pen. This is the 2.5 and this has been my favorite. It's always in my stash. This is a brand new one, but this is the one I have. It has a 2.5 tip. So it has this um, nib but in 2.5 size, right? So it's much bigger and I love it. And then we also carry this set. This is the black and white. You have the super fine in here, but you have three different white here. So you have the calligraphy nib, you have a 1.5, which is a smaller, and then the brush nib as well. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna open this one so that I can use the 1.5, all right? We'll get the 1.5. I don't know about you, but I love making cards. So I love card making. I love scrapbooking. I love mixed media. I love doodles and journals. Um, it just, it's my passion and it brings me so much joy. And you being here today tells me a whole lot that we share the same passion, right? So if you have any questions about, you know, favorite supplies, how you can use these in your projects, um, let me know in the comments section. Let's, let's use the comment section today. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you've missed us live. So we're hope that you can join us next time because it's more fun because you get to ask questions and, you know, we can have a little bit of convo in here. All right. This next one is Faber-Castell's Metallics. Okay. So this is under the blue line or the, uh, these markers are for artists and hobbyists and all that. So it has 12 different colors of metallic markers. Everything is so pretty in this one. We might have a chance to swatch them because we have a lot of time and we're gonna draw some doodles of some ghosts, maybe draw some pumpkins, draw some cute skull. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We'll be doing, having fun with doodles. So this blue line, so as you can see here, so this is one of the questions that I get a lot when it comes to Faber-Castell products. Because if you go on Michael's, you're going to see there's a red packaging and it says Faber-Castell. And then you're going to see blue packaging and it says going to say Faber-Castell. And then you're going to see the green and it says Faber-Castell. So when you see the red line, this is for kids. Um, this is kids grade artist grade um so as you can imagine it's not an artist grade quality it's for kids so it's non-tox so those little things that you want to make sure um you know that you want your children to use right and so maybe the colors are not as opaque of course definitely it's not going to be light fast because it's for kids for school and all that now once you see the blue line this is for the um students, hobbyists like that. So it's inexpensive. So you go from the red to the blue, a bit more expensive. Then you go to the green line. Then we're talking about professional and artist grade. So those are the difference. And I know that you've noticed that when you're shopping, it's like, what's the difference in the red to the blue to the green, you know? So I, 
I think it's always nice to know what you're buying. All right. So these are the 12 colors. Like what I said, all of them are so beautiful. And we might use some of these because these really show up very well on a black piece of paper. Even on a white piece of paper, it will show up really nice also. So how about we use like um like this blue one. So we're gonna just go through a little bit, some of them. Let's look at the purple because of course it's Halloween. Let's look at the gold. This one is the Nothing Else Metals. I love the name too. I love good names when it comes to pen. When I buy pens without names, you have no idea how, <laughs> how disappointed I am. It's like, no, there's no name in the pen. So when there's names and it's so cute, that makes me the happiest. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to look at that. Then we'll look at this one too, kind of like they're black. Yes, metallic, but black. Show another kind of like purplish color. And then this one, right? Lay, why don't I just show everything? <laughs> okay, we're going to start. We're going to start with the nothing else metals because it's so cute. And then we're going to start doodling as well. So we'll start with the simple doodles of Halloween. When I think about Halloween skulls, it's so funny. This is true story. Um, my daughter, she's 13. I know I talk about her a lot in my classes, but she's, you know, she's like, mom, when you think about Halloween, what, what, what is a symbol? What is a drawing? Or what do you think about first? The funniest thing is that I said, treats, mom, really Halloween? <laughs> Come on, right? Treats is what I thought about first. What can I say? So I'm going to draw some treats here. Candies. I don't know why. I'm like, you don't think about treats when you think about Halloween, mom, really? like skull, right? Or pumpkin. Okay, sure, pumpkin. All right, so we'll draw some treats in here. When it comes to doodling, the best thing to do to get better at it is just to simply practice. And I know we talk about this a lot here, um, you know, in different classes, and it's like, how can I get better? Remember, when I first started to doodle and draw 11, 12 years ago, I didn't know how so I am here in front of you teaching you how to do this because the 11, 12 years I've practiced and practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So whatever it is, every single minute that you spend every day with your art, just a little bit of doodle here and there, you're showing progress. That progress is super, super important. No matter how small that progress is, that is still progress. So we'll take every single win. Okay. Treats. Think about basic shapes. This is something that's another important shapes, basic, simple shapes. And you're going to use this to create your doodles. So when you start doodling, you practice with just regular shapes like this. Now, when it comes to kawaii doodling, my key to this one and my advice is to avoid sharp lines. Sharp lines um, does give, you know, when you think about sharp, pointy things, like pointy, it hurts, right? It pokes and all that. And when you think about rounder things, it's like squishy. It looks, it's just huggable. It's more cute. So kawaii is cute. So you want some, you want your doodles to be on the, more on the round side. So even if my rectangles, notice that. I don't have, I don't do this. I don't do that in my doodles. Now, one is not wrong, right? It's just different. So the way I'm showing you today is how to create and how to make cute doodles. So I'm going to show you an example. So basic, simple shapes. I want you to draw an oval, uh, stretched, horizontal oval. I want you to draw a narrow oval like this one. So a perfect oval or a circle like this. So we're just going to practice an exercise. This pen is called Nothing Else Metals. And it's so darn cute. So we're going to zoom in. Oops, sorry. We're going to zoom it in like this. So this is silver like that. Sometimes it's hard to see because of that, um, the contrast from the camera, but look how gorgeous that is. So now that we have the basic shape, I'm going to draw again a little oval here, a little circle, I mean. Now we're going to do basic, simple shapes again. 
but this time kind of like, I don't know if you've learned it this way, how to make a bear. When I was young, when I was little, we have this, maybe it's different back in the Philippines, but we have like big circle, big circle, right? So I can't remember exactly how it was, but notice how those, it's just simple, basic shapes, the circle. So it's the same thing. So for my treats, what I'm going to do is like half circle, but more like a C really, or like a U because I'm going to make this, I'm going to stretch this out. Another one like that. And another one like this. And then we're going to do the same thing, but the opposite on the opposite side. Basic, simple shapes. Also in kawaii, what you want is you want it simple. You want it very basic. You don't want too much textures, too much patterns going on. I think a simple, the more simpler it is, the better it is when it comes to kawaii. Now, one thing I'm going to ask you, what do you think is wrong here in this picture? Hey, Cher, good afternoon. So now looking at this one, what is wrong here is that my sides are too big. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to repeat the same way. Because I think these, <clears throat> excuse me, because these basic exercises are super important. Because sometimes when you're doing it yourself and no one says, and you don't see what you're doing wrong, right? I, I do not like saying wrong, um, different. So you don't, you don't see what you're doing is different. So now I'm going to do it the correct way. So I will find the center of my circle without putting anything down, just finding it visually. And then I'm going to do it same, but this time much, much smaller, right? This time. And then we're going to add a little bit of lines inside there. Okay. Right. Now, how can I make this a little better? Looking at it in, on the screen, what I can do to change this is bring this two sides up a little bit more so it's more centered. So I'm going to start doing it again, okay? So basic, simple, step-by-step. -step. There we go. And then I will show you the next step, All right? So this one, I feel like it's much better. It's more centered. I like that. This time, how can we add a little bit more cuteness to this? We can add a little bit of design inside. So it's just kind of like a semi-wave line inside this. And then I'll add another one. And then actually, you can use the same doodle for your Christmas you're just going to have to color it differently. And then we can't forget our kawaii eyes. Just like that. So that's our one treat. That is nothing else metals. All right, I'm going to go to get the purple one. Not sure if this is going to show up. Now I'm going to go make, oh, this one's not going to show up very well against the blue. I'm going to do it anyways. This one is called Queen of the Marine. It's so cute. <laughs> Same thing. But this time, instead of kind of like very round and curvy, I'm going to make it a little like more on a square like this. But still nothing pointy or sharp like that so it's still round but not too round and then this time instead of like that kind of design inside 
we're just going to add on both ends. Again, notice how my line is really not straight. It's not a straight line. It's really more slightly curved. And I'm going to do this one with sharp lines so we can see the difference. Because sometimes it's just to see that visually gives you just different, wow, oh, wow, I didn't realize that that can really change something. But again, one thing is not better than the other, right? It's just your personal preference. Like that. Once you add that cute face in there, it's going to be cute anyways. So I feel like when I'm thinking about robots, I feel like more boyish, more squarish, you know? So it's like, like, I don't know, but it's just more, it gives me more of that engineering stuff. When I see lines, I feel like, I feel like engineer, architect, more like buildings, more things like that. When I think about round, I think about animals, cuddly, just cute and all that. So that's the difference. That's the queen of the Marine. It's so beautiful. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. This one is, are you ready? Date with Violet. Are you kidding me? That is, <laughs> I love the name. Date with Violet. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to fill this one so we can really see the color. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm kidding. It's gorgeous. See that it has that silver streak that, oh, ah, it's so beautiful. Okay. Next one is the heart of gold. Oh, heart of gold. Look at this. Now we're going to do, I'm just going to swatch it a little bit so you can see. Yeah. And then we're going to draw our ghosts. And this one is very nice. <laughs> I told you, I told you the names are just so darn cute. Ooh, it's so pretty too. It's like so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So for all the doodles that we're going to create today, again, you can use this for treat bags. Uh, you can use it to create your own packaging. Um, you can create your own cards and all that. So we're not going to finish a project project, but we're going to do a lot of doodles so that you can have some ideas how you can use it for your Halloween packaging, maybe for your table settings, um, tags, bookmarks, and so many, 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 many projects. Okay, so I have my black one in here. Oh, this is what we did last time. Now we're going to look at the white. And then I'll show you the difference from the 1.5 to the 2.5. <laughs> Lee's asking, are you going to say scumbling today? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do scumbling today. No, because probably we can. We can fill in a texture also here. So we can do it with our ghost. Because this is a texture that we can do. See, we can scumble in here. <laughs> like that. Okay, so this is the 1.5. Like that, right? So dot, 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 dot. Just so you can see how big that nib is. So this is the 1.5. Scullum scumbling. And then this is the 2.5. I should probably use the brand new one. Ooh. I love the Pit Artist pens, the white one. Because you can use this for to highlight. You can use this to lighten your um, colors with the other Pit Artist pens. So kind of like if you want more of a pastel color, then you can use this to lighten that color. It's really pretty because it's not super opaque. If you use uh, an acrylic pen, an acrylic marker, you're going to lose that translucency. 
remember because if i did this with like an acrylic paint i'm not going to have any of that translucency here see like that <laughs> lee you're so cute i'm so cute when i say scumbling <laughs> and then we're going to do dash 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 like that so that's the difference from that 1.5 look at this to the 2.5 so if you're doing like a smaller um, paper, then definitely go for the 2.5. But if you're going to use it in a much larger paper or canvas and all that, then you want to make sure you want to use the 2.5 because then you can cover a larger area at a time. And then, of course, my favorite one is the brush nib. I just love the brush because my way of like this of my doodles, I really love the thin and thick kind of like when we're doing lettering. So you have the thin and thick line, but I feel like it's not as opaque as the 2.5 and the 1.5, you know, so like this, but you can layer it. So once it's dry, I can go in second round. Look at that. We're adding more opacity here. So it's getting more white, but if you want like a real, <clears throat> you want the intensity of the white, I'll go for the 2.5. Okay, when it comes to ghosts, ghosts are so cute and so easy to doodle. So the reason why I picked ghosts today is because <clears throat> you can add a lot of kawaii faces and a lot of kawaii um, expressions to make, to give them characters, each and every single one of them. Now, when I draw ghosts, I don't like the one with the pointy tail. You know, that's the usual thing. It's kind of like, plenty things um I like the one it's kind of like more of a sheet <laughs> this is I saw something so funny the other day about ghosts I'm not gonna say it because it might be bad okay so we're gonna dog we're not gonna we're gonna draw ghosts this time I always start with a basic shape an upside down you or a frown so this is kind of like where I start with or I want you to start with until you get used to your shape already so you want to start with that but it might be harder to just kind of follow around the direction like this this is big scumbling here but I'm going in one direction so Basically going just back and forth, back and forth. Again, with this one too, you can change the opacity and just add another layer like this one. You can just leave it there until it's white. Now that's one way to draw the ghost or you can draw the whole thing already as one shape. So this one, as you can see, this one automatically, if you're looking at the ghost here, this one is leaning to my right, right? So assuming that the face is going to be on this side. Now for the bottom part, you can draw as many scalloped or smiley that you want. It's kind of remind me of Pac-Man too. <laughs> so really, really is cute. You can do that. You can leave it just like that and don't, fill it in so we're going to draw two cute little arms like this and you can put in the cute face I feel like for details and faces like this it's better to grab your 1.5 because it's more delicate so you have a smaller smaller tip it's much easier to add those cute faces so I'm going to add it now this time so that is leaning to the right we're going to draw one leaning to the left I'm having a difficult some difficulty drawing my ghost leaning to the left I always kind of like overextend it so much but we're going to do this and just draw that I feel like this is flying so you can make it look like it's doing many different things so I like drawing the arms like this. And then we're going to draw a different expression. I'm going to use a 1.5 because it's much, much better. Trust me, 
grab the 1.5. You will still get grade coverage like that. I always add to let I always like to add lashes like this. Right? Now you can also do it where how about we draw the traditional girls? Where it has like a pointy thing. It's like a teardrop. Okay, so if you're going to fill in this one whole area, one whole big space of ghost, I like to do my characters all at one time before I start worrying about their faces. It's just much easier that way. So I'm going to, oops, this is where we did our, just move here. That's when we did our bubbles with the gelatos. That was really fun. So I am going to draw, I think I'm going to use the 1.5 because I have a really much smaller space in here. We'll see. Here we go. Can you use pink? Absolutely. Uh, this is just the regular, this is the kids. Look at this. I'm using the kids black paper sketch pad from Faber-Castell. I love it. Works great. Works well for pencil. I even use it with the gelatos and a little bit of moisture. Um, and then now I'm using the pit artist pens and some markers. It works perfectly fine. And it's so inexpensive. So look at this. We used with, um, pencils in there and it just works perfectly all right yes you can use pink pencil can i use pink oh, absolutely you can use pink you're very welcome i'm gonna use a 1.5 okay and so we're gonna fill in this area with ghosts i want you to play around with the direction of your ghost um i want to show when it's like upside down you can draw them up upside down too because it's gonna be cute and if it's a little hard for you, what you need to do is just adjust, you know, move your paper around. So like you're drawing it regularly, but it's just upside down regularly. <laughs> but if you want to go draw it like this, so instead of a phone, you want to do a smile or a letter U like this. Think of it as... Oh my goodness, the 1.5 is like, I the 2.5 so big. Like, whoa, or like it's floating to the side. So just play around with the direction like this. And maybe it's like floating, I'm floating like that. Yeah, I'm going to use a 1.5. This 2.5 is so big. <laughs> They're loving on each other. <laughs> like, uh, okay, so here we go. I want to, I like to start in the center. I don't know why, but it's just the way I'm, I'm wired. I, I feel like center is good. So I'm going to add my center. And it's also kind of like the fear of the blank page. So I just need to put anything down here. And sometimes I just draw like circles everywhere just so I can get rid of that fear of that blank page. I add color, I add shapes just to have something, lay down something in here. So this one I'm using a wavy line instead of a distinct kind of like, um, scallops shapes like this so this one is more of a wavy line like this right so we're gonna add i'm just think of your character already already visualize the face where you want to put it because that's going to matter where you're going to put your arms if you know in your head where the face of your character is so for example i want my to be here 
then you can play around with the arms, right? If you want it like facing down, if you want it like facing up. And remember, the arm is so little. Don't make it too long because it's going to change the look of your cute ghost. So when you make it short and stubby like that, it just looks so different. Just like this. You're gonna add like a cute little tiny smile, right? And so then we'll start, move on to the next. This one I'm gonna make like, it's just like this. I'm gonna move my box before it falls. And this time I'm going to make that little scalloped until close in that line over there. Reminds me of a flower too. If I can put something in here, that's already a flower, <laughs> see? And then this time my face is going to be smack in the center this I was like what are you so happy about just like that it's like hee 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 okay yes Luke you can use black my dear whatever color you have you can use it Okay, so this time I'm going to have it where it's facing to the, oh my gosh, my orientation. Again, this. This time I'm going to make this one more distinct, this one. And close it in. See how what the way I'm drawing things is just one little tiny stroke at one time. So don't be in a hurry. Take your time. So I'm going to draw two straight lines. And this one is a little salty, this ghost here. I'm going to draw like little tiny dots. Just like that. And then a little mouth that's kind of like, hmm. <laughs> Why are you salty? It's like, it looks a little sad. Actually, it's not, it's not mad. It's just a little sad. Why are you sad, ghost? I think because of the position of my eyes. No, oh, it looks a little sad now. Sorry. Draw a little tiny arm. Maybe somebody took its treats. No. Okay. I would do this one. This time, hmm. Let's draw one that's like, let me see this. More like flying. Maybe there's a little, little tail in this one. So that one, right? More of a traditional. I like it too. Not all the time, but it's still very nice. Okay. And then this one, we're going to draw a two eyes. Basically, it's kind of like a frown, but it's more like a squinting eyes. And then a small circle in the middle. It's like, ooh, just like that. We're going to draw lashes, at least with for mine. I just love glasses. just love lashes. Little, little two tiny arms. And then this one is going to carry a bag. So it's going to carry a treat bag. So I'm going to have one here. Like that. So straight line. <laughs> so cute. And then I'm just going to draw a little pattern inside diagonal lines. 
just to add a little visual interest in there. And then we're going to add a bit more accessory. Maybe we'll accessorize some of them, add some bows and things like that. We'll just continue making our ghosts. Okay. So this one, we have to have a partner for that one where it's also has a pointy thing. But this one, I think I want it like it's more stretched, more like a Superman flying. So I'm going to make this one longer. So I'm not really entirely happy with this, but you know what? We're just going to go for it like that and then my face will be over here i have two dots like woo and then we'll have the arm here and then we'll have another arm sticking out over there <laughs> it's kind of weird when it's white i wonder what it looks like if i use a different color here but it's so cute <laughs> we're fine we're okay we're okay all right this one i'm gonna draw i think another one with like this but it's leaning to the right Like that. Small little scallop shapes. Just like that. And then this one, I feel like I want, I don't know what I want to put in here. Maybe I want to put like glasses. So we're going to draw two circles. This is doodling. This is doodling where we don't sketch and we're just going in just directly pen to paper and we're just making things up as we go. We have that. So for the eyes and then just a smile. Just like that. And then it's holding a book. So I'm going to draw my arm a little here and then a little here, right? And then we're gonna draw the book right in the middle. Bring this down, bring this down, down, down. Have a line in the middle. like that <laughs> so we can put it here if you like <laughs> we're really going for it all right now we i want one with a treat we're gonna draw one with a treat Let's see I'm trying to visualize it i think i want to just like right in the middle also almost kind of like this one but I'm going to start this one. I'm going to start with a very big candy. All right. So the candy is almost as big as her ghost. So I'm going to, instead of my ghost first, I'm going to draw the candy first and I'm going to draw a circle. Just like this. <laughs> it's almost like a circle, <laughs> but you know what? We'll be good. It's okay. And then we learned how to do this earlier. Like that. I feel like I'm not centered, but you know what? We'll take, it's okay. Right? And then the ghost is going to be almost like just peeking. So here, from, so I want it to be not as wide as my candy. So think of it as your ghost is, is right 
the middle. But you're going to see you're going to see almost just its head and its little tiny arm or hands picking like here. So we're going to draw my the arms of the ghost first, right? So it's almost like a an ear of the bear, but that's its arm holding there. And that's the that's the ghost. It's hard when it's like white. I don't know why, but it's like, it's almost hard to visualize it. <laughs> and then we're going to draw this little triangle or what do you call that? There's a, there's a term for this one. Less, less than and greater than. <laughs> it's math. I don't like math. <laughs> so this one. And then for the decoration of my treats, I don't want to do almost like, um, because it's almost like ho um, going to be holiday candy. So I'm not going to do what I'm thinking in my head. We're just going to draw that like this. And question for you, Lay. Um, with the pen that you're using, can you turn the, the, the bullet nib around? Yes, this like is the, the Kit Artist nibs. pen, the white 101. Right. Uh, oh, um, I yeah, get now the it. question. Yeah. You know what? I have never tried it. I'm I'm a little scared to try it because this is brand new. But I'm gonna try it for you. No, I don't think so. <laughs> don't try doing. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just a brush that does that. So I believe that you can even with this one. You flip it around. Yep. So the brush nib, so even with the white part, you can do it. So you almost get like two. I'll put it back. Right. See, so now I have a brand new one. I'm not sure if I'm just not pulling hard enough, but you know what, Jody? I'm going to try for you. <gasps> I did it. You can. And then you can flip it around. Okay, Jody, there you go. We got your answer. Okay. <laughs> See, so you can flip the 1.5 of the pit artist pen. Ta-ta. Okay. Let's continue on with our ghost. With our spooky, spooky. Okay. So this one is almost kind of like where the pumpkin is, but want to have, uh, not pumpkin, sorry, because that's what I was going to say next. I'm already fast forward. This kind of like with a treat, we're going to start with a pumpkin. So it's almost like the ghost is beside instead of behind the pumpkin, it's going to be beside the pumpkin. So we start with our pumpkin first. Remember how we did this last time, if you were here, but if you weren't, it's okay. So it's like an oval. Okay, just like an oval, just like this. Right? And then I'm gonna draw a parenthesis. And then now to the right side. Just like that. And then I'm gonna draw the stalk of my pumpkin. That. Aubrey, this is the pit artist pen in white in a bullet tip. Like that. All right, shape, shape, shape. Now I'm gonna go from here to here. I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I stretched it. I just I can't look. I can't see. I'm just gonna bring this down. Let's color it in. That's like a weird looking pumpkin. It's like really stubby. I'm just going to add one more. That's one big pumpkin. I'm going to draw. 
Aici. All right. And then now I'm going to draw my ghost. So it's like beside it, slightly behind it. Just like that. But it's so it's going to lean to my left, right? Am I seeing it? I'm so bad at orientation. Like this. I don't know why I can never get this part. And then I'm going to draw like this. It's like letter U. And then like a cute mouth. Uh, it's almost there. E cute. So you can add a little bit of line like this to the bottom of your ghost. See if you like that, but it's just different. And this is the fun part of just doodling and really having fun. This line will help also guide the eyes of your viewer to see where the direction of your ghost is heading. See, it's like adding those lines. It gives you visually that, oh yeah, it's leaning to this side or it's leaning to this side or it's smack in the middle, right? Or it's centered like this. Here we go. I like it. I like it. Okay. And I want to draw another pumpkin over here. So this time to just fill in your space. I think it's it's that's a really good practice. One of your notebook, make sure to not flip it and change it until you fill it up with whatever it is, a character that you're drawing. For example, the ghost. Ghost is so easy to make. And it's such a fun way and a fun exercise to play around with expressions, the kawaii expressions, to add a little bit of accessories, to practice orientation, you know, where it's, leaning to you know and all that um because it's just one basic simple shape it's just a simple shape that it's not hard to draw over and over and over again that's why if you notice some of um if you're following me on instagram and online the characters that i make are very simple if you're going to notice it very basic simple shape because i have to draw these characters over and over again but the the way to build your characters, we're going to tackle this um, one of these days in one of the future classes, is if you want to create your own character. And I hope you do because it's always fun, you know, to start your own, whether it's a, an animal, we can draw it over and over again. But it's one class and I think it's going to be fun because this is where I get to share my process. What's my thinking process also, how I create my fun characters and um one thing that I can say right now is accessories. Accessories is super duper important. For example, my turtle that I created, his name is Sheldon. Uh, one thing that makes him stand out knowing that because turtles, we everybody draw turtles, you know, but what makes my character different is that he has a pinstripe hat. And so it has those helicopter, you know, those little tiny thing that sticks out. Let's see if I can pull him out. Oh, here. So this is what makes him different. This is, so even if I draw this in a silhouette, you're going to know that it's Sheldon because he has his glasses on, his oversized glasses on, and then he has his hat. So that's one thing. So when you start building your characters, think of a distinct um, accessory that will identify your character with. So for example, the oversized glasses. So even if you draw your character just in silhouette, there's no colors, no lines, no, just a shape, basic shape. And if you see that oversized glasses on the side, you're going to know that, oh, this one is this character, right? So accessory. Accessory is just as important as your character too. <laughs> yes, Mary Sheldon is so cute. Okay, so I want another pumpkin in here. I want to show you another way how you can draw your pumpkin. So instead of one oval shape, we're going to start with just one like this, right? And then I'm going to start with one at the bottom also. Just 
just like that. So, and then we're going to draw broken lines. It just gives you visually a different look to it. And then another, using basic simple, I use that shape a whole lot. Broken line again. Almost not my favorite. It almost reminds me of a bell pepper also. I don't know why I said that, but it looks like a bell pepper. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to draw different now. And now for the skull, again, same thing, same shape. It's just that upside down you. I use this shape a whole lot. Even when I'm drawing dolls, characters, the old chibi, kawaii um, girls, I use this. It's either an upside down you or a letter you. I start my faces and shapes like this way. So I'm going to draw a small fur, small skull, but same. Look at this, just like that. And then this one, I'm going to bring this right in the middle. So bring this down, extend it a little, and then go in the middle. And then in the middle, we have one, two, three. And then bring this down again, like that. And then you draw your two eye sockets. Fill that shape in. I don't like it. It's too spooky. <laughs> so I'm going to draw. Why, why is this sticking out? Lee? I'll draw that one, two, three. And then bring it right there. Just like that. And then fill that in again. draw another one I'm just filling in spaces now and the more I draw it the more I'm like okay I don't really like it here I feel like it's too close to the middle then you can make your changes maybe I can make my eyes closer together like that and what's another spooky thing candles candles are good to draw so even my candles i know they're like straight lines but i draw them kind of like slightly slanted right that close it in and if you want kind of like dripping things so it's just wavy lines and then close it in like that. One straight line in the middle. Like this. One stroke at a time. Just like that. Kawaii bat is so cute. Okay. Same. It's almost like the same um shape of my ghost so almost like slightly narrow on top and it goes wider at the bottom so let's draw a bat so i'll start with like this let's zoom it in like that and then i bring it down bring it down just like that. Just like that. Now I'm going to add two tiny ears. 
just like that. This, and we're going to draw two dots. I'm going to draw a line. And then two tiny triangles on the side. Just like that. See, it's almost, the fangs are almost as big as the eyes. So we're going to adjust it. It's so hard sometimes. It just depends on the nib of your pen. That's what makes it difficult. So choose the right size of nib. Whatever it is that you're most comfortable. If it's like smaller, finer, stick to that. Now for the wings, I always try to keep it simple. Remember, kawaii is not, you don't make anything sharp. So even at that fangs and that smile, I would have changed that. I would probably, um, to do revision and changes in this one, I would have probably just make the smile, just one smile without the two fangs in here. So for the wings, we're just going to draw one, two, three. I don't want anything pointy. So one, two, three, just like that. <laughs> uh, look, yes, I'm on Facebook. It's at Mommy Lay. So same handle on Instagram as well. So I'll just add a little bit of lines like this. Like this. And then. I'm going to draw a little tiny, small pumpkins. This one kind of reminds me of a tomato. So you can add like a little tiny definitions like that. Um, for accessories, we can use some of our metallic markers, especially if you're using, if you use like a black and then a, just a white pen, using another third color or even a fourth one will really help make your drawings or your doodles pop a little bit more. So remember, we're talking about accessories. Now for this one, I really cannot not do anything without blush. I feel like it's not complete without my two little cute blushes. So I'm going to use the very nice in here. And we're just going to add a little bit of blush around them just to add some extra details, right? This one is like, why are you so good? Uh, 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 uh. Be sad. I hope you'll be able to join us again next week. I'm working on some December classes as well. So I'm really excited about these ones. Can you imagine? I feel like the year just started, but yes, I'm already looking at December classes here for future, future Michael's classes with Faber Castell some bows i know it's like it's kind of like reminds you of um christmas especially gold but you know what i'm extra i'm a libra so <laughs> we're gonna use that some bows i always use that as an excuse here we go just like this but see how adding that pop of pink and that a little bit of gold really did change you know the the look of this instead of just plain white so having a second and a third color will really do help change the whole visual of this one and then a little bit of um extra that you want to add in here are words so don't think of you're just doodling characters just plain characters no just add a little bit of words in here like the word boo right i mean come on three letters. This is how you can make patterns, repeating patterns using the same doodles. 
you can use this as a you can use this as a card you can use it for your packaging just like that Ooh. spooky this very nice marker is so pretty it's just perfect here and when i'm doodling look at that it just made it different other ones are patterns i know we're almost done i'm almost done but i just really want to help you fill in some of the extra space in here just like that with extra basic simple patterns like that my favorite is drawing x or across i also like drawing stars you'll see use stars a whole lot it's not just christmas i love stars everywhere adding it to my lettering adding it to my doodles it's perfect perfect embellishment to fill in some extra space in your page but just like that see how much that changed just we added a second color you know it was cute already when it was just plain white but I feel like this is extra cuter now I feel like I want to add like a witch's hat here <laughs> so cute what a fun 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 time thank you so much I enjoyed that so much I felt like I was just a little kid with all of you so I hope you enjoyed it too I hope that you practice with some ghost adding your fun you know different expressions adding a little bit more accessories in your drawing don't be afraid to try and fail and and then try and fail again and then try and then succeed right so just keep practicing and if there's anything else that i was not able to answer today you can find me on the internet i'm all over the internet send me a message send me an email i'm always here to help in behalf of faber castell usa we appreciate each and every single one of you for creating along with us and we really hope that you will be able to join us again next week same time five o'clock central standard time thanks everybody have a beautiful evening thank you all